welcome back to my channel. So in this video we are going to experience a very autumnal weekend because I've got four days off of work so I'm just going to spend it doing very autumnal things with some friends and family. I'm going to be very much so sharing it with you guys because we love an autumnal vlog, do you know what I mean? Just coziness and everything like that. We love it. So today I haven't got much planned in particular because I'm filming a YouTube video where I'm only eating pumpkin spice foods for a day and I'm actually gonna be sending some parcels off for, for today or at least packaging them and sending them another day to two girls which allowed me to do that um, video which is already up on my channel if you haven't watched it already um, because I just really wanna thank them. So I'm gonna be sending them some UK goodies as well as some my protein goodies that I have in my room and send them off to those girls just to say a massive thank you. But I will show you guys the items if you haven't watched that video already of what they sent me and what I'm gonna send them later on in this video. Can we just appreciate all of the pumpkinness in this little shot here? We've got some pumpkin flavored biscuits, pumpkin cereal, pumpkin tea, pumpkin oatmeal, pumpkin bagels, coffee, a cookie mix. We've got some pumpkin protein bars which were kindly sent by Eat Vive. And then we've also got some pumpkin tortilla chips which I cannot wait to have for my post-workout meal um, for lunch. They sound amazing. So, so far today I've had my breakfast, I've had my pre-workout snack and I'm just about to head off to the gym but I thought I'd come on here just to say hello and start off the weekend vlog. I've got some PR parcels that I've received during the week and just yesterday and this morning actually. So I thought I would share them with you guys. Um, they're just laid out on my bed here so it's just easier to share them with you. So here are the array of goodies from different brands. I'm gonna start off with this little cute package from Nush and most excitingly, this amazing spoon that they sent me. Look what it says on there, Layla's Nush Spoon engraved. And it's just the cutest spoon ever. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna keep this forever and ever because it's so adorable, I love it. Thank you so much, guys. But alongside that, they sent me their Nush yogurts and cream cheese, which is just in the original flavor here and the cashew milk yogurt here, as well as strawberries. These guys are sold in Sainsbury's and Waitrose and I really recommend them because they're just delicious their cream cheeses and all of their yogurts especially the strawberry actually I really love it and they also sent me alongside that some chocolate buttons which I love chocolate so that's delicious thank you and then we've also got some granola as well as um, this deliciously Ella nut butter balls so all of this is in aid of their new um, range here as well as just to be able to create a breakfast which I'll definitely make use out of all of this because it sounds and looks absolutely insane and I know it tastes insane and they just dropped me a little message here to say we hope you enjoy trying our new improved cashew yogurt the Nush team thank you so much guys I'm really gonna enjoy those so then Coco Barna gifted me their new jumbo bowls and they've just got some like engraved details on there if you can see that. I really love Coco Barna so much so that they've given me a discount code for you guys to use if you like it. Layla20 which gets you 20% off their coconut bowls and they're just gorgeous. You'll see them in most of my posts and loads of my videos. Um, I really recommend their coconut bowls. They're just really lovely and sturdy and amazing. Then randomly, I got this lovely parcel from Laura Mercier. I think I got it in an email and said yes to the um, agency company and they kindly gifted me their new honey translucent powder which is fabulous because I love the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder as well as the Kat Von D one. I really recommend it because it's really great. And alongside of that, they sent me this cotton pad to go with that. So the next parcel is from a company called Mayo, which is actually like a mothership brand of my protein, but in the range of skincare and body care. Um, and it's just their like sports care range. So you apply these things when you've come home from the gym or you've come home from a workout session such as this muscle motivator revitalizing gel and I have tried it already and you just apply it to your skin after you've worked out and it really cools down the skin and just relaxes it so it's really nice. I haven't tried the other little bits and pieces but we've got the body wash here, we've got the bath soak and we've got the body cleanser as well which is just really great after a workout to just relax and take care of yourself after a hard session. So thank you so much to Mayo and MyProtein for sending me those. 
So the next parcel is from Mindful Bites and I saved this till last because it's part of their Christmas collection and it's just a range of their goodies including this mini panettone and they also sent me this extra large one which I'll open in a second but this cute one is so adorable and I'm actually going to be filming a Christmas video where I only eat Christmas foods for a day so that's very exciting to come. I can't wait for the Christmas content but autumnal content comes first. I don't want to rush it at all. I love autumn. Then we th then they sent me this like dark chocolate hazelnut spread as well as this one, the chocolate hazelnut spread. And then they also sent me this bis almond biscotti, which I've never really tried before. It looks very hard and I know it's very hard. <laughs> but that will be interesting to try out as well. Can we just appreciate how big this panettone is? Yesterday when I opened it um, after receiving it, I didn't know how to open the parcel, so I kind of broke the handles, but <laughs> we move. Look how big this is, guys. Ah, I'm struggling here. Look how big that is, honestly. I mean, obviously I'm not going to be eating this all by myself, but I will definitely take a nibble out of it. My mum loves panettone, so this is really great for her as well and all my family. We're definitely going to be sharing that. Maybe I'll eat the mini one by myself because it just resembles a cupcake, but <laughs> we'll see if I fancy it. Anyways, I'm going to head to the gym now and I'm going to catch you later because I'm going to film the rest of my pumpkin spice foods video, um, including my lunch and things, and I'm probably not going to share that on here. So if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and click on there to watch it later on. Um, I'm going to probably catch you when we are on the way to HomeSense because the plan of action today, whilst I am filming my video, I wanted to decorate my room so it's more like autumnal and cosy and just better because right now my bed sheets they're screaming like summer and I don't want that I want to feel cozy warm and festive if you know what I mean <laughs> I'm going with my mum so it's just a little mother and daughter little date hopefully she'll love it I'll love it and you'll love it as well so we are back from the gym I filmed and had my lunch for the video that I'm filming today so I'm just going to share with you guys my outfit that I'm wearing to Home Sense and TK Maxx so this is the outfit that I went for. We went with this cozy knit jumper from Zara and it does look like I'm from the Victorian times with this high neck jumper here, but we roll with it. I love it and it's very comfortable and cozy. Then I've got this bag from Zara also, as well as these denim jeans and then also these Dior high top trainers. Oh my gosh, guys, I haven't updated you on the cam yet, but I bought Dior shoes and they are the most precious item that I own, the most expensive item that I own and probably the only designer brand that I will ever buy from ever again because <laughs> I'm a broke girl now but I wanted to treat myself so I did and they're really beautiful. I'll give you a little bit of a close up. <laughs> Honestly, how stunning are they? I know they just look like Converse with Dior sign on it but Honestly, I'm going to get so much wear out of this and they're just stunning. I love them so much, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. So I've got my mask and I'm ready to head out the door with my mum. I'm actually driving there. I haven't driven in ages. Just because in London you don't really drive and to work there's no need to drive, nor is there any parking in my work and there's also congestion charge in London. So if you end up driving there's no point <laughs> because you just can't park anywhere so I end up just taking bus to work however the home sense and TK Maxx that is nearby me is in Croydon so I'm able to drive there because there's parking woohoo <laughs> but hopefully we're going to be able to find a few bits and pieces for my room or just some autumnal bits and bobs that I can add in my life from home sense and TK Maxx I know I've seen a lot of these like hauls on YouTube so I was really inspired by those and um, so whatever I get I will share with you guys or give you a little insight of what is in store We've arrived! So that was actually really disappointing because I was expecting some autumnal leaves in there at least but there were just nothing really wasn't it mum? Bit rubbish wasn't it? <laughs> so instead I actually picked up some chocolate pasta which I wasn't expecting to buy today but I mean if I ever do it if I ever do a only eating pasta challenge this will definitely feature in my breakfast, so that's probably for future content. If you want to see that, let me know. Then I got some envelopes for Gabrielle and Rihanna to package up the goods and send to them to say thank you. But that's pretty much it, so I'm probably going to head home now and use one of my old duvet covers that I usually dress up my bed with for winter. Um, and it's just like this grey fluffy one, so I'm probably going to do that, make over my room and then settle down for dinner for the day. But yeah to say the least I'm quite disappointed <laughs> 
So I'm finally back home now and I just wanted to share with you guys before I package it all up and send it away another day um, the little pieces that I'm going to include in the parcels for the two girls that sent me the pumpkin spice foods from Trader Joe's just because I thought it would be nice to share so I'm going to be sending them my favourite kind of biscuits all from the UK. I'm not sure if they have these in America, let me know. But I'm going to be sending them, of course, Lotus Biscoff Biscuits, which I love. Some Party Rings, which I also love, and Jammy Dodgers. Those are my three favourite biscuits, as well as Oreos. But I know they have many Oreos in America. So I thought I'd go with these ones instead. Then I'm giving them two of each things. So we've got the Nut Bars here. We've got the Binoffi Carb Crushers. The Chocolate sea salt carb crushers as well as the salted caramel gooey filled cookies and then the salted caramel baked cookies as well as a protein powder pouch for them each so I'm going to give one of them a blueberry and cinnamon flavor and one of them a salted caramel flavor so all these little bits and bobs here are all my favorite kind of snacks and go-to little nibbles so I hope they really like them and appreciate them they won't know what I'm sending to them unless they're watching this hello in that sense and yeah, hopefully these arrive for you guys and you really enjoy them. So I've just packaged those up for those two girls and I've got their addresses. So I'll probably go to the post office another day because it's a bit too late now to post those off. But they'll definitely be on the way. For now though, I'm just going to change my bed covers because currently, as I said, it looks very not autumnal. So I'm just going to change them to my fluffy sheets instead of the green leaves. I feel like we should do one of those transitions where I click and it's all made up. So let's go. Ta-da! I know it's not insanely different, but it definitely is different in the sense that the sheets feel much heavier on me and much more fluffy, cozy and warm. The summery sheet which had leaves on it were much lighter, whereas these fluffy ones are much more cozy and warm, which is what I want in the winter, especially in my room. Then we've got this weighted blanket, um, which is actually a throw that I just throwed onto my bed here. And I just kept that the same because I really do love a weighted blanket in bed. So the rest of my day now is really just going to be spent filming the rest of my pumpkin spice video. I'm going to be filming my dinner and then ending that video. Um, and then I'm just going to get on with some editing. So I'm probably going to end Friday Eve here and I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning guys and welcome to Saturday. So I thought I'd outline the plan for today. The plan of action is just to head off to the gym now because I've had my breakfast, I've had a lovely morning so far. And then I'm actually gonna meet someone that I've met from Instagram. Her name is Bethan, she's such a lovely girl. And we're gonna go out for some autumnal eats. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and hopefully you'll enjoy what you see as well. Okay, so I have finished from the gym. I have dressed myself up. Sorry about the rushy intro so far. I feel like the day has been super rushy, but I'm actually joined by Bethan. Here she is. Hey. Angel. <laughs> so we're actually gonna be heading out to a place called Dollaway Terrace, yeah. and it's so Instagrammable, guys, and so autumnal. I cannot wait. Oh, honestly, I'm so excited. <laughs> so exciting. But I thought we'd share our little outfits of the day before we start our day. <laughs> So the inner fashionista in me, here we've got it. We've got my Dior shoes on. <laughs> we've got my white jeans, they're from Pretty Little Thing. We've got this top, Pretty Little Thing, top, Pretty Little Thing. <laughs> and this is also from Pretty Little Thing. <laughs> pretty Little and Thing out. Yes, and then we've got this band from Accessorize. So that's what I'm doing, all white out and looking very autumnal. <laughs> Cute. I think I'll pass the camera on to you now, Beth. <laughs> I'm, lit I'm literally carrying like <laughs> Bag as well. So, what have we got? Where everything's from. I know I had to double think then. This is actually Tommy Hilfiger. Lovely. Very, very cozy. Gorgeous. Um, the dress is Zara. Love it. I have no idea where I got the tights from. They're they are stunning. Very old. <laughs> and ASOS the boots. Beautiful. Nice and autumnal. I think we should head off now. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> We're rolling. Okay. So we have arrived now at the Zolloway Terrace. I can't wait to go inside and have our meal. We're actually quite hungry now. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so hungry. <laughs> quite hungry. So hopefully they have some good options for you, for us, I should say. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside, what we're having and the decor, because honestly it is stunning by the pictures. So it already looks like it's gonna be so nice. <laughs> Let's go in. <laughs>
So I am finally, finally home and what an eventful day it has been. I had such a lovely time with Bethan. We got so much things done in one day, honestly, as you would have seen. I didn't have the chance to speak to the camera as such because I was just having so much fun spending time with Bethan and I didn't want to rub the camera in her face and I was just really much, um, so much so enjoying the moments. So I hope you like the footage that you saw today. I thought they was very autumnal um, by the looks of it. And that's Crumble, by the way. Definitely go to Humble Crumble and get their pumpkin crumble if you're still watching this during the autumnal season because honestly, that was insane. And I actually kept the pumpkin because I think I'm gonna make some pumpkin overnight oats or some like pumpkin concoction for my breakfast tomorrow. As you know, your girl likes a pumpkin. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys um, what I bought today, as you would have seen through the little montage. We went to a couple of shops, and we looked at a couple of shops as well via window shopping, but I did pick up some bits, and you just know they involve a few pumpkin-y bits, so I just thought I'd share. So these are the range of items that I picked up today. Starting off with some Lush bits, I got this soap bar which is in form of a ghost which I thought was very Halloween-y and cute. Then we got this pumpkin bath bomb which I'm going to use on Monday whilst I film my only eating Halloween foods video. I'm going to treat myself to a bubble bath and I'm also going to use this vanilla and pumpkin shower gel afterwards and then rub on some vanilla and pumpkin cream to my body. Why not? Feeling all moisturized and feeling like a queen like we all should then I also got this toffee um lip scrub from Lush and honestly I could actually eat this jar because it's made out of sugar and it tastes really nice. <laughs> then speaking of toffee apple, we went into Wittars which I was never going to, it wasn't my, an intention of mine but um, they were doing little tasters of these and honestly it was amazing and I highly recommend having this. This tastes exactly like toffee apple and I'm such a fan of it. So I will be having this in my only eating Halloween foods video as well, which I think will be up before or after this vlog. Then, like I said, we went to um, Humble Crumble and I had the pumpkin crumble. And I've just decided to keep the pumpkin because I think that is such a waste if I just throw this in the bin when it's like honestly amazing. Um, Humble Crumble invited us down there to try their crumbles but I really do recommend you guys trying it as well but thank you so much to Humble and Crumble for the invite. Then we also went to the Whole Food store and I picked up some pumpkin puree. Like I mentioned within my videos previously I get my pumpkin puree from either Planet Organic, Whole Food store, Waitrose, Sainsbury's or Tesco's. And then speaking of Bethan, she kindly gifted me these little pieces here, which is incredibly kind of her. So thank you so much, Bethan. I am very grateful. We've got these cheese flavor Beps, and then we've got this superfood breakfast boost here, as well as deliciously Ella's almond butter salted caramel cups, as well as some salted caramel normal chocolate here, some white chocolate, and Livia's millionaire chocolate orange squares, which I love, 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 love. But like I said, it was such an eventful day today, but certainly an enjoyable one. I had so much fun, and I didn't mention, but Dollarway Terrace was lovely, and I recommend you guys trying out as well. Um, they actually have a Christmas edition wall if you want to head down there when it's like Christmas time, because I think I'm going to revisit it when it's Christmas time as well. That wall was so cute. I don't know if you saw within my montage, but I've just made myself here some dinner for this evening because I'm so hungry. We've done so much walking and the plan of action now is just to have dinner, chill, reply to my YouTube comments because I uploaded my full day of eating autumnal foods today. Then I'm just going to plan ahead for tomorrow because we've got another very exciting day and I'm going to be taking you guys along with me. I'll probably meet you guys at breakfast now. Um, tomorrow morning because like I said I'm going to make my little pumpkin oats and roast that little pumpkin up to enjoy in the morning. So I hope you enjoyed today and I'll catch you on Sunday fun day. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Sunday. So, so far today I haven't done much really. It is still pretty early in the morning. It's around eight o'clock, but we're just about to head out the door because we're on our way to a pumpkin farm today, which 
if you could tell, I'm really excited for. Um, I had a pumpkin-y breakfast this morning. I'll insert a picture here. I just used the pumpkin, like I said yesterday, when I was showing you guys all the bits and pieces that we got from our little shopping trip from the Humble Crumble kitchen. And I used it to fill it with like some oats, some hot oats, which I roasted the pumpkin and ate all of it afterwards. So it was incredible. And I also topped it with a Oreo spooky spider with some pretzels and some googly eyes because <laughs> that just made it a bit more funner and I love having a fun breakfast. So just before we head out of the door I thought I would share with you guys my outfit. So I'm just wearing this shacket which is a shirt slash jacket and it's from Zara Kids. See the perks of being small you can buy Zara Kids clothing and get away with it because this is a lovely lovely jacket and it's so warm and I love it. Um, and then I'm wearing this like bag to go along with it and that's from Primark. Then I'm also wearing these coated jeans which are from Topshop and then these boots are from a place called Public Desire and it's just an online shoe website but this is the whole look I'm really loving it um, I have become such a fashionista nowadays like back in my uni days I was definitely not a fashionista I was living in gym wear and just <laughs> not living my best life so I am quite proud of this outfit and I do really love it so I'm going to be going to the pumpkin farm with my mum, dad and sister today um, and then we're going to come back home and just have like a spooky Halloween evening that I'm going to share with you guys but for now let's go to the pumpkin farm and see all the pumpkins. <laughs> Okay, so we are back from the pumpkin farm now and I actually picked out a pumpkin for myself to carve tomorrow as I'm filming another YouTube video where I only eat Halloween foods for a day but I thought I would do some pumpkin carving within the video and see how creative I can get with the pumpkin and I thought that would just be great fun to share at the same time. But now though, like I said earlier today, I'm going to make this like charchiette board for everyone's dinner because we came back quite a while ago actually and I've had my lunch, I've relaxed, I did a bit of editing and stuff like that but now it's time to have a bit of dinner um, so I thought I would make one sweet board and one savoury board and then we're going to watch a film on Netflix called Happy Hubby Halloween I think and it's with Adam Sandler which is actually my favourite actor ever so that will be really fun to be with my um, dad, mum and two sisters as well as her baby to enjoy um, loads of food and a lovely film so I'm going to whip that all up, share it with you guys and let you know how I get on.
So we've got one sweet board here to enjoy and then we've got the savory board over there. Everyone is seated and ready for their meal, aren't we guys? <laughs> and we're gonna be watching a film along with that. So let's press play. <laughs> to end a Sunday. Happy Halloween was so much fun to watch and it's such a laugh so I do recommend you guys are watching that. And the Chachiette board which by the way was all vegan was so much fun to make. I designed it all myself, created all the little bits by myself as well, threw it all together and it turned out pretty quite well. Let me know what your thoughts were on it because I thought it turned out quite well. Um, I don't usually have that many sweets and chockies and there wasn't many veggie options on there as in, in terms of like salad and a good hearty meal to end the day on. Um, it was more of like snacky options which I was totally okay with because sometimes you just gotta live in the moment and to be pecking on food whilst watching a film I really love that. Um, there wasn't any popcorn there so that was my downfall but I forgot to pick up that in the shop however everything else on there was fabulous. My favourite was actually the puff pastry fingers which I made myself out of vegan puff pastry. I just rolled it up into like finger looking things and then I spread it on some tomato puree to act as like the bloody spooky nails and they tasted great really. Um, so yeah, all together a really wholesome fun day with my family, pumpkin patch at the start, chachiet board to end the day on with a lovely film and that's all I could ask for really. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching Sunday and I'll probably catch you tomorrow on a Monday. Good morning and welcome to Monday. So, so far today it is around 12 o'clock and I still haven't gone to the gym yet because I just got carried away filming my video for the only eating Halloween foods for a day. Um, but literally so far today I've just packaged the goods that I'm going to be sending off to America to the two girlies that sent me the pumpkin spice um, items. But other than that really I've been like chilling and just relaxing, editing my YouTube videos that I've produced um, for the two uploads that I'm uploading this week. I've got one more day off of work today and then I return to work tomorrow um, just on my normal shifts 9 till 5 so that's not so bad but the plan of action today is literally I'm just about to head off to the gym now and um, then I'm going to film the rest of the video for the only eating Halloween foods for a day and I'm going to be doing a bit of pumpkin carving within that video but I will share it within this vlog as well because it will be up before that video so you'll have like a little sneaky peek into what I made. Then I'm going to be remaking my pumpkin chocolate chip loaf but in the form of muffins for some meal prep this week um, to have during work during the week because I need to prepare my meals for the week just so it's a easy grab and go option for me to take to work rather than finding convenience food at work and then then I end up just not liking what I have and then I'm also thinking of treating myself to a little bubble bath this evening an autumnal bubble bath using the Lush bath bomb that I shared within this video previously and plus it's my final day off of work so I might as well just go all out and treat myself to a relaxing day all night <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna head off to the gym now, but I'll just show you what I'm wearing. So we are just in this Spalks Avenue gym wear set. I really do love this set and it's nice and sparkly and very fitting for a Halloween video. It does scream a bit of Christmas vibes, but it's a bit spooky at the same time because it's glittery and black and you know, just that sort of vibe. 
So I'm gonna head off to the gym now to do my first session of the week. I'm doing five body day splits this week, um, rather than my four full body day workouts when I do my 12 hour shifts, which I would have explained in my autumnal eats video where I did like a training update, a diet update, and I ran you through the list of what I'm doing per week. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I'll probably catch you in a jiffy and when I need to update you next. So it's been a few hours now since I last left you and I've been to the gym, I've posted the parcels for the girls, I've also meal prepped my meals for the week and carried on filming the rest of the video that I'm filming for my YouTube today. Um, but I haven't yet finished because it's just before dinner so I'm nearly finished. I've also prepared my bags for work and my uniform so that's all ready to go for tomorrow and for the remaining of the week. So I'll show you my meal prep that I'm bringing with me to work in a second but just before that I thought I would just share with you guys the parcel that I got delivered from Do You Even. They gifted me some of their new sets and they're just gorgeous not to share so I thought I would. So the girls at Do You Even posted me their new scrunch collection colorways in this like khaki color and they also have them in many different other colorways as well but this one I know will suit me because khaki really goes well with my colored skin and colored hair so I do really love this and it's got a scrunch bottom which looks very extreme when it's off but when it's on it looks very flattering so I do love their gym sets and then they also sent me their training collection one in their jackets we've also got a top here a sports bra, a long uh, length legging and some cycling shorts here. So that was really kind of them to gift all of that stuff and I'll definitely be wearing it in the gym but I'm gonna go into the kitchen now and share with you guys the meals I've prepared for the week. So I've literally just prepared my lunches for the remaining of the week and the remaining of the other meals during the days will be prepared the day before or actually on the days. So for each lunch this week I've got some rice, some grilled sweet peppers, some roasted chickpeas and some soy mince with a base of kale and drizzled with some sweet chilli sauce. Then I also made my chocolate chip pumpkin loaf in the form of muffins here and they just look really yummy and delicious to eat so I'll just package those up and take me with me to work. But for now I'm going to carry on filming the rest of my Halloween video and we're just going to get on with some pumpkin carving, me, my mum and sister. So that will just be a fun little activity for this evening. So I'm going to finish off that video by filming my dinner for today and then I'm going to jump in the bubble bath to make myself a lovely bubble bath, have a shower and rest up for work tomorrow. What do I have to say to keep you by, by my side, how to start in a liquefy, need you here to tell me that I'll be okay. Maybe one, love and two, and now it's three. 3 a.m. Thinking what if it's you and me At the end, maybe we'll be okay I know that you're coming back home Know that you're coming back home Know that you're coming back home in the morning I know that you're coming back home Having my own conversations so guys that is pretty much my long autumnal weekend coming to a closure here i'm just in the bubble bath nice cozy and warm i'm going to be applying the vanilla pumpkin body butter from the body shop which i shared with you guys earlier on in this vlog after my bath and shower it's been a lovely, long and fulfilling autumnal weekend with friends and family. I really hope you guys liked coming along with me. I've loved sharing with you all. But I'm honestly just going to wind down now for the evening. I'm honestly in need of just a relaxing session because although I've had fun this weekend and it's been very busy and hectic, that's the exact reason I need to just relax before my hectic week of work ahead. <laughs> Sometimes I just do this to myself where I make myself so busy and I barely have any time for myself, which is really bad. Like you should always make time for yourself and relax, wind down and just enjoy your own company. Anyways. I really do hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. Let me know if you did by giving me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me and I will see you in the next one. Bye. P.S. This smells absolutely 
fabulous. Thank you.